Betty Hoffen is one of 3,000 elderly participants in a study to see whether the herbal extract ginkgo biloba might help improve memory. She is already familiar with the devastation that dementia can cause. Her husband, Ken, died in 2004 after a long struggle with Alzheimer's disease, the most common form of dementia. The spirit just goes out, uh, out of him, and, and the, the joy of living, and you're sick, and then don't remember things, and that makes you angry because you want to be with it. And uh, it's just a descent into sadness. Betty Hoffman and the other elderly participants, age 75 and over, were given 120 milligrams of ginkgo biloba, or placebo, twice a day. Some had mild cognitive impairment. Others tested with normal brain functioning. Dr. Stephen Dukoski was the lead researcher on the study, which proved to be disappointing. The test results showed us that under these circumstances, ginkgo doesn't appear to have any effect of slowing down thinking changes in late life. The journal of the American Medical Association also warned that ginkgo biloba may be harmful. A slightly larger number of the elderly patients experienced strokes, and those with cardiovascular disease were at greater risk of dementia. <laughs> Dr. Dukoski says he and the other scientists will continue to search for treatment that will slow the progress of dementia. Delaying the onset of disease by 10 years would effectively eliminate it from the population. Dr. Dukoski has acknowledged that one flaw in the study was no independent verification that patients actually took their pills. But there is another study of the herbal extract underway in France. Results of that study, he says, could be further proof that ginkgo biloba will not help. Melinda Smith, VOA News.